Hey everybody, do people know their Bibles? Do Christians that are subbed on my channel and people that watch my videos, do they know their Bibles? Do you know your Bible? I have to ask the question because I can't figure out with the information that gets presented on this channel why people don't want to expose Obama and the Pope. Clearly, we have, a, we have direct fulfillment literal fulfillments of Bible prophecy scripture in the book of Daniel and Revelation uh, unfolding before our eyes, my eyes, your eyes, my ears, your ears uh, in regards to Bible prophecy to the number of Obama's name and people don't share it. This information won't get out if people don't share. It's not good enough. I, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm never happy but I'm especially not happy this time, at this time, because I get 50 views, let's say, on a video and three shares. That isn't going to help the cause to expose Obama and get this information out there and get people awake. Do you want to see people come to an awakening of the truth? Or is this just pure entertainment? What do people watch this channel for? Is it just to be entertained? To know the truth yourself? Are you scared to post and repost and share and get these issues out there? That they clearly what the Bible has always said. And we have so much of in church of pastors and people in authority over you getting up and telling you, no, this is what the Bible says. And they don't have a clue. They don't have any understanding at all. They have no wisdom or discernment. They, they, have, they, they apply this... I've spoken to so many pastors from different churches, from Pentecostal churches to Evangelical churches to Baptist churches, and they do know nothing to apply Scripture to a literal uh, what's what's happening before our eyes and ears now. They don't they don't think in that context at all. It's infuriating, and I find it must be the same with the people who watch this channel. Because otherwise you'd share this information with Obama meeting the king of Saudi Arabia. The king of Saudi Arabia comes to America for the first time, visits the White House last year. And then Obama goes and visits, visits the new king, King Salman, back in Saudi Arabia. He's there now. The news was on there tonight. And 666 six, six, six between the two visits. Is that not newsworthy? Let me ask you, is that not newsworthy? Is that not proof positive to show your friends and family that Obama is not just the President of the United States of America? What the hell more do you need? Really? It's... Ah! It's driving me crazy. And it should be driving you crazy too to get this truth out there. Not that... I'm just fortunate, blessed enough to see it and hear it and... Be a reporter and put this on the internet. I'm just reporting what I've seen and heard. How many more videos do I need to do watching the day-to-day -day happenings of Obama and the Pope and geopolitical stuff as direct fulfillments of Bible prophecy and nobody gives a damn. Nobody cares. It's all relative. They must say, oh, the truth, he thinks he's got the truth, but the truth is subjective. The truth is whatever you want it to be. How many churches have I been in where they tell me that Bible is open to interpretation? So there's many different versions, many different interpretations of the Bible. The Bible isn't a precise, concise story or, or words that has a direct meaning and, un, and the way, where to understand it. It can be just read any which way you want it to read. I've had a Pentecostal pastor tell me that. And he has a church of 500. That's insane. That's insanity. All right, I've done enough ranting, but hell, what, what, is, what is it going to take, you know? The days of Daniel's prophecy clearly are all about Obama and the time that he has in power before the next phase of God's intervention comes, which is the trumpet and vile judgments. It's clear the writing's on the wall. Can you not see it?